Hey gorgeous, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. I am so glad and thankful and excited that you decided to join me here today. We are going to make a cottage or a house for a grandma which has a very pretty garden. I got inspiration from Miss Unfortunate, a fellow creator that makes great wonderful perfect pretty houses and she is like a master of landscaping and terrain manipulations and big victorian and fantasy houses if you are interested in those kind of build you should check her out but i am pretty sure that you know her so as i said earlier this build was made for a grandma or i was thinking she is a widow her and her husband made this big garden outside their house because their way of living or source of income is by selling flowers so it is very reflected on the pathway that i made for this house and since she is a widow now i decided to make her have a dog and the story of this old lady was formed while I was building this house at first I decided that this old lady who lives here used to travel in her young age and later on I decided that she is going to be a widow of a male sim that likes plants and she was influenced by her husband on the way he lives and this is why she decided to settle down with him on the middle of the garden that they both took care of all those years they never had a child and time came that her husband passed away so in order to not live this lonely life alone she decided to adopt a dog and she and her husband used to have a cat but again time decided to make her alone in this lonely house in the middle of a flower garden and honestly i was planning to build a modern tiny house for a musician but i was so excited to try out this country kitchen kit and i use it in this build and yeah i built this one last minute and i think i am going to reach my deadline for later on while i am recording it so i hope you will like this build and i hope it doesn't feel like it was rushed to you and i don't think it looks like it was rushed anyways and i just want to point out again that this is my first time uh, first time using terrain manipulations and I think I liked it but the first thing I did was build the shell of the house because the first time I tried to make this one I think the foundation was too high and so I made the little hill too high enough to make a pathway that the, a sim will not need a stair so the, that is why I built the shell first and then raised up the foundation and then raised the terrain and that trick was easier i guess so maybe if you are trying to use the terrain tool and still having troubles on doing it maybe you can do the thing that i also did maybe it will work for you too and now let's talk about the build so i was struggling to find the right texture for this cottage because i never really built a cottage ever since so this one i was changing it almost each second at this part but as soon as i finished building the house the i made sure that i will not change any textures anymore so i will still change that wood texture on the wall later on um, I think I should do the trick where I will put the furnitures first and add the 
wallpapers later on because I think that is an easier trick to do and then I used the country kitchen for the kitchen and and the bar stools from the latest update that we got I think the bar stools from cats and dogs will fit more in here but like it's a new item and I think it still fits so and I just added some clutters on the wall cabinet that we got and yeah I decided not to cut off some of the footages that I was building this because I used I am used to cut almost all the scrolling foot footages because I don't think it's necessary but I don't feel like cutting it in this build for some reason but anyways I added a, a fireplace and a photo of this green car from Strangerville maybe it was one of the remembrances that the old lady has when she was traveling and now I changed the wallpaper colors and I used the brick texture from the country kitchen kit and the rug from tiny living because I think it fits or maybe the lady knitted it for her house and I used the paranormal wallpaper within the light color because I think this will work on a brighter side of the color palette or of the color wheel and then I added a shoe rack and a coat hanger of course a shoe rack because we've been in this pandemic and just leave your shoes um, on the doorstep and also I added this cat statue because when I was filming this I was kind of heartbroken because my cat is not with us anymore and yeah I proceeded to the bathroom I kept it very simple and it does it doesn't really have much of a special thing to show but I added it in this video anyway because I don't really add my bathroom anymore on the videos but I decided to put it this time just so this video will be longer because I thought this video will be like 10 minutes long and I just realized later that it doesn't it's a long kind of video because of the landscaping I guess and then let's proceed to the bedroom where my wallpaper is dark but I used a lighter color of furniture instead to emphasize the bed, the curtains, the closet and the things like that I tried to use uh, furniture with textures and like quotation mark stories behind it because as I said earlier she was like a traveler and I feel like all these things she has are the things that she collected from all the travels that she made all through her life before she decided to settle down with her husband by the way if i speak like a robot i am so sorry about that it is because i don't really prepare my script for the speed build because i don't think it is necessary and i always still end up not sticking on what I wrote anyways and thank you for dealing with that so yeah I tried my best to add clutters in this room because these are her little collections I wish I have collections just like her and then I added some books on top of the closet because I was thinking that she, her husband was bookish and he likes to read stuffs and I added I was supposed to add a picture of Gidri to pretend that it was her husband but then I decided to add this old couple's photograph that and maybe it was her ancestors and then I added a wall art 
from Nifty Knitting and she made this art on her vacant times when she is not taking care of her garden and then later on I will decide to add some holes and scratches on the walls and doors because maybe sometimes she forgets that her dog is inside her bedroom and he does nothing but scratch the door to remind his master that he was there which is like kind of reality sometimes um let's be honest well maybe not all of us but sometimes it happens to us but not really that long time because they always call out and bark if they get trapped inside our room and then I added a vine ivies on the walls in front and side of the house because of course she likes flowers and later on you will see how much landscaping I placed in this build too much landscaping that my game decided to start lagging and the last time that my game decided to lag like this was when I built the bohemian cottage that I made for my friend Simsish and yeah I watched that video and decided that I want to make another one and also I was so proud on this arch that I made on the entrance of the lot uh, I was really really tempted to download tool mod and use it but then later I found a way to make the flowers wrap around the arch and yeah I was doing this I did this trick for like 30 minutes and I was trying to do it with the ivies from vampires but then later on I found the flowers from base game and decided to raise it up to cover the spandrels and then it worked so that was when I started to go all out on this landscaping and the rest of the video now is going to be purely landscaping and please be reminded that this build was heavily inspired by Miss Unfortunate's style of landscaping this is, that is why this is almost like this looks like how Miss Unfortunate does her landscaping and I don't know how much to how much landscaping I was saying but I hope she doesn't get offended with this um, I was just really really inspired and I am not trying to copy her I tried to add my own style in this one by doing that arch thing and yeah um, I hope she will like this and she will not be upset of this and if someone gets upset of this I can 100% swear to you that this kind of build or landscaping will not really stay on my videos because I always like to build on tight spaces and I just tried this one and I ended up liking it and loving it and I just wanted to share it to you guys and yeah that's it and that's all for my voiceover I hope you will enjoy this build I hope you will stay until the end if you enjoyed this build you might want to check out more of my content and if you are not subscribed yet you might want to consider subscribing also I am open for build suggestions if you have any thank you so much for watching and thank you for the 90 subs that I got the past week and I am aiming for 100 this week which is I think possible and if you enjoyed this build you might want to hit that like button it helps the channel a lot leave a comment if you have something to say or any build suggestions or if you are upset or if anything and how your day went and let's have a conversation Thank you so much for watching. This is Lara and I wish you all have a great week. Stay safe, stay away from negative people. Don't hesitate to laugh and wash your hands and don't forget to drink your water like always and I will see you all next time. 
Enjoy the last two minutes of the video in peace. Bye-bye!